All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of two minus x to the power of three is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting 36 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x to the power of two minus x to the power of three minus 36 is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite 36 as negative nine minus 27. And the reason I'm doing this is because nine is the same thing as three squared and 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I'm gonna to group together x to the power of three and three to the power of three. And x to the power of two and three to the power of two. So I get x squared minus three squared minus x to the power of three plus three to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I get x plus three times x minus three minus x to the power of three plus three to the power of three is equal to zero. Now from here, x to the power of three plus three to the power of three I can write this as a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So this turns into x plus three times x squared minus three x plus nine is equal to zero. And now if I factor out x plus three, I get x plus three times x minus three plus or I should say x minus three minus x squared minus three x plus nine is equal to zero. And this turns into x plus three times x squared, or sorry, negative x squared plus four x minus 12 is equal to zero. So now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x plus three is equal to zero, meaning x is equal to negative three, and negative x squared plus four x minus 12 is equal to zero, which if I multiply both sides by negative one, I get x squared minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this turns into 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 all over 2 times 1 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 over two, which is equal to four plus or minus the square root of negative 32 over two, which is equal to four plus or minus the square root of 32 times the square root of negative one over two. And I'm gonna simplify the square root of 32, which is equal to the square root of 16 times two, which is equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of two, which is equal to four root two. So I get x is equal to four plus or minus four root two i, which is the square root of negative one over two, which is equal to two plus or minus two root two i. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting eight as two to the power of three. So I get two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to 10. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So I get two to the power of x plus two to the power of x to the power of three is equal to 10 because I switched the places of three and x. 
Now from here, I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I get y plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 10. And if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, what I need to do is first find one solution of y, and then once I have that solution, I can find the remaining solutions. So to do that and find that first solution, I'm just going to test values of y. So we're going to start with y equals 1. So when y equals 1, I have 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 10 is equal to 0. Well, 1 to the power of 3 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 10 is negative 8, which does not equal 0. So this does not work. Now I'm going to try y equals 2. So when y equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. Now 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so I have 8 plus 2 minus 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So this works, meaning y equals 2 is a solution. So what I'm going to do is divide y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 by y minus 2, because y minus 2 equals 0, well, y equals 2 is a solution. So, to do this, I'm going to use synthetic division. So I'm going to look at the coefficients of my numerator, and I have 1, which is the coefficient of y to the power of 3, 0, which is the coefficient of y squared, remember we're going order, 1 again, which is the coefficient of y, and negative 10. And just to let you guys know, the zero is there because this is supposed to be y squared because we're going in order. But because there is no y squared, we put a zero in front of it. And this is all with two. And if you guys are still confused by this, you should look up a video on synthetic division. So I'm going to first start by moving down my one. Two times one is two. Zero plus two is two. Two times two is four. One plus four is five. And two times five is ten. Negative ten plus 10 is 0, so I have a remainder of 0. And I'm going to use these as my coefficients, so I get y squared plus 2y plus 5, meaning y squared plus 2y plus 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is my equation, and I'm going to divide this into two equations. y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0, and y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now for y minus 2 equals 0, I'm going to add 2 on both sides, so I get y is equal to 2. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 5, all over 2 times 1. And this turns to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. And because we have the square root of a negative number, we cannot use the solution of y, meaning we can only use y equals 2 as a solution. And remember, we're solving for x, not y. And we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. And the only solution to this would be x equals 1, because 2 to the power of 1 is equal to itself. So x equals 1 is my solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video to your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so for this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So to solve this, I want all my terms in the same base. And in this case, this would be a base of 3 because all of these are powers of 3. So we don't need to change 3 to the power of x squared because this is already a base of 3. But 9, I'm going to change to 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of x. And 81, I'm going to change to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So I get 3 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of 2x 
is equal to 3 to the power 4. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So I get 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means m is equal to n. So this means x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. Now, if I subtract both sides by 4, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this, I'm going to use a quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 4. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 all over 2 times 1. Now from here, I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 16 over 2. So I'm going to rewrite that over here. x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now, the square root of 20 is the same thing as the square root of 5 times 4, which is equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of 4, which is equal to 2 root 5. So I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2, meaning x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So these are my two solutions to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and also share this video to your friends or family because that would support a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like these, check out my channel because I have a bunch of challenge problems such as these ones. Thank you.